So I took a tricycle hire, that's a Kekana Pep, it's famously called Nigeria, to get to another park that would um, take me to Yankari Gym Reserve. And after so much negotiation with the drivers, I got a car to head to Yankari. It was actually late in the evening because I had just come from Jaws. In fact, I came from Abuja to Jaws and then to Bauchi. So I had a long trip and I was exhausted. So I didn't want to waste so much time because I didn't even know where I was headed. So I needed to go before it got dark so yeah i got the first sign actually yankari is 109 kilometers from bauchi so this is the first sign of yankari game reserve 58 kilometers away and then continued the trip Ah, oh, it was not easy but well <laughs> i like adventure so yeah And yeah, there we are, the gate, Yankari Game Reserve, that's the entrance. It was already getting dark, so um, <laughs> you would think that it's closed. Anyways, we finally got there and this is the reception and then I had to just go get my room and then go to bed. The next morning, I woke up, I saw war thugs. Oh my God, I was like, I had never seen one before. So I was pretty excited and then I went to where I'll see the baboons. I don't have anything left. It's finished. Hi. Eh, I'm, I don't have food now. So because I don't have food. Eh? Let him not see you carry with you. Oh. Like plantain chips? Love you some plantain chips, huh? See that one over there. There's nothing in the bin. See that one over there. Yeah. That one coming. Yeah. They're everywhere. Yeah. They're everywhere. That one over there. At this time, I was just excited to see the baboons around me they were everywhere everywhere i went they were there and i was like oh so i could be this close to animals i mean i actually do love animals anyone that knows me knows that i love animals so it was fascinating for me to have them around so yeah i was just waiting to enter the museum this is the front of the museum and um i started taking pictures of course i was i couldn't wait to get in and then once i was in I so, saw, you know, the first animals from the place. These are their skins. I saw reptiles. I couldn't take enough videos because I needed to just leave. I was going to the safari. I had all my activities lined up for the day. And then so I just continued my, you know, having fun with the, <laughs> with the baboons and everything that I could see. The water, the or more these things they they they're just comfortable around the humans it's so beautiful to see honestly if you love to see animals around you i highly recommend because when you wake up in the morning they are there when you're strolling in the afternoon they are there if you have something to feed them you feed them you know <laughs> look look say thank you Say thank you. <laughs> Bye. Also, because there's no plantain chips now. The Yankee Game Reserve established in 1956. That's the voice of the tall guy. Ayina Buffalo's Western Abyss Water Bowl Football. So the tour guy was um, listing the animals that are usually seen around the safari. Yeah, the safari um, is very large. You cannot go around 
it all at the same time. In fact, you can't even go around it in a day. So they have a particular route that they go through for you to see animals. So yeah, we went through the safari. The safari ride is actually easy. The truck takes up to 10 people. So yeah. Um, and there I sighted a water buck, a female water buck. So beautiful. Oh, so so beautiful so how it works is that once you see an animal you tell the driver to stop so that you can look closely well it's unfortunate that i traveled in the season that not so many animals were around the safari so we couldn't see as many animals as um as we wanted to see so yeah that's the water box look at it that's a closer view and then i took pictures around the safari took really nice pictures i couldn't see as many animals as i wanted to because they said the animals move around although we saw some but they ran away before i could even take a picture because the animals i mean we are entering their territory so <laughs> they run away so that this is basically my lodge and then what i do is that i take a stroll whenever i wake up i take a stroll to go around and see the animals take pictures take as many pictures and videos as i can feed them if i have anything to feed them with ah they're everywhere they will be on top of the car i don't know what they're doing but it looks like they're moving lights from each other's bodies i don't know but you see this a lot in, with, on top of cars that are parked around you see them they climb up and they're just on their own i mean going from tree to tree from car to car from human to human whoever has something to feed them feeds them it's actually beautiful to look at me me i found it i found it really um refreshing you know it was not something that i was used to i mean i don't just wake up at home and see animals so i found it refreshing that animals were just everywhere and they're comfortable around me and i'm comfortable around them so yeah that's what i basically do so the three days that i spent there all i do is wake up i stroll i see what i want to see and i go and rest so for me i'll say that i enjoyed myself in yankari i enjoyed the environment the peace the serenity the the vegetation everything was just cool for me so i highly recommend although i'll suggest that you ask questions before you go know the right time for if you really want to see animals that is just know the right time to visit that place um anyways i'm going to talk about my wiki experience my wiki spring experience but that'll be in another video because that's a whole um different experience which is my favorite part of the visit and that's why i've decided that it to be in a separate video so yeah i highly recommend if you want to go somewhere you can relax away from the city with no noise where you can see animals you know you could actually come to yankari i highly recommend say hi see me now taking selfies and just enjoying myself this guy just sat down there i was just taking pictures with me or more <laughs> like a human being and then he just left me there so yeah my visit was over and this is me living yankari it was not a trip that i regret i would definitely go back there and i'll go back ready and well packed and if you are interested in traveling to yankari please contact me in fact with my experience you're not gonna have any challenge or any um food issue or anything like that i'm going to tell you the right things to park and i'm going to arrange your accommodation and everything that you need there so do contact me if you want to go to yankari for me me i'll prepare and go back there i want to have the experience all over again and this time around i want to go ready <laughs>